Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronix from Ronix Photographer and welcome here to another brand new retouching tutorial and today we're going to be doing global dodging and burning. So for global dodging and burning we'll be enhancing the lights and the shadows, the highlights and the shadows of our images. And for this image, this photo was taken by a Nigerian photographer. He's called Abayomiakinaina. I'm going to put his link down in the description so that you guys can follow him. He's an amazing portrait photographer based in Nigeria and yeah this is the photo we are going to be retouching and we are going to be doing global dodging and burning so as you can see this image I already did uh, the basic adjustments to it and sorry about the noise uh, and as you can see I already did the frequency separation this was the before then after frequency separation then I did my color grading of this image as you can see before after then I also did the eye whitening. You guys can check out all the tutorials for these particular steps for the frequency separation, color grading, and the eye whitening in Photoshop. So we are going to be doing our global dodging and burning using the curves in Photoshop. So uh, we're going to first come to our right down here to our adjustment layers, and we are going to click on curves. Then this time we are going to brighten and when we brighten we'll be enhancing the highlights of the image so make sure this layer is selected click ctrl i on the keyboard to invert this layer and now we're going to come back to the curves and this time we are going to darken it i think that's too much and we're going to make sure this is selected click ctrl i on the keyboard to invert this layer so we are going to select these two layers and click ctrl g on the keyboard to group them uh, we're going to select this double click and we're going to name this dodge and burning so i'm going to use initials d and b and i'm going to enter so when i'm going to do a dodging and burning i usually make sure i select this I did not rename this so let me rename this remember the top layer was burn and our first layer was dodge so right now this is where we are right now and I'm going to show you guys the trick I usually use in order to enhance our dodging and burning for the images so usually I come right to adjustment layers and I, I usually create a black and white layer on top of our burn burn layer so i come to my reds and i darken it so when you darken it now you can see where the highlights are and where the shadows are so this black and white layer kind of guides us when we are doing our global dodging and burning remember we have the micro dodging and burning and we have the global dodging and burning in photoshop so for this for this tutorial this is the global dodging and burning and for the global dodging and burning we enhance the highlights and we enhance the shadows in our portraits so i'm going to click on this layer the black layer and this is our dodge layer make sure your foreground is white because we are going to select a white brush and we paint on a black mask so make sure you have this and if at all you don't have this just click right here to reset them i'm going to come to my brush i make sure i'm going to use the opacity of around 10 percent for doing the dodging and burning as you can see right now i'm going i'm i'm on the dodge layer i'm going to enhance the highlights so i'm going to paint over the highlights of this image so i'm going to enhance paint so I'm painting using a white brush on the image. So when you're doing your dodging and burning, make sure you don't zoom all the way in because we want our photo to be seen the way someone is going to be looking at it on their devices, especially mobile devices. So that's why you're not zoomed all the way in. So we enhance this highlight on the chin area. Remember, we have a highlight on close to our cheekbones. Enhance that enhance that to 
then we come to the forehead and we are going to enhance that too so we are going to come right down to the hands and we are going to enhance that so we have some little highlights on the collarbone we enhance that too so right now let me show you guys the before and after i'm going to turn off the black and white layer i show you guys the before and after for our dodging so far so this is the before after before after it is really really subtle and it is not too much so i don't know if you guys can see the difference it has made so i'm going to come to my burn layer click on it make sure your foreground is white your brush is selected and the opacity is at 10 percent and the flow at a hundred percent so we are going now to darken so darkening we darken the highlights and that is called burning so we select we're going to start painting over the dark areas of the image so we have this dark area on the nose so the advantage of doing the dodging and burning will be enhancing and adding dimension to the image which may have been distorted during african separation and the image may have gotten flat so right now i'm doing the what the I'm doing the burning of this image. I'm adding the dimension to our shadows of this image. So I'm going to come to the lip area, reduce your brush using the brackets on the keyboard, or you can increase them using the right bracket on the keyboard. So we are going to darken there too. So we have some. So we continue doing that. So I'm going to delete this black and white layer because right now it is kind of useless to us and i'm going to show you guys the before and after for our dodging and, and burning for this image so and the other trick when you're doing your dodging and burning you could as well turn off the frequency separation layer so that you can easily be guided when you're doing your dodging and burning so, so this is the after before after before after and if you see like this is not enough for you you can easily duplicate the dodge and burn by clicking ctrl j on the keyboard or you just drag and drop right here to create a copy so as you can see this is really really too much just come and reduce on the opacity of this image of our dodging and burning so i'm going to group the dodging and burning select the two groups and put them in one single group so i'm going to name this dodge and burn so right now we have been doing the global dodging and burning for this image as you can see this is the before dodging and burning after before after as you can see the image right now has shape and dimension and yeah we have corrected what we may have eliminated during african separation and this is the before the do global dodging and burning and this is the after global dodging and burning you guys can see the difference it has made to this image so uh i can show you guys how the image was before everything this was our initial image then this was after a frequency separation i have a tutorial about that i did color grading i have many tutorials about how i do my color grading of the images and I hope to upload another color grading tutorial because I discovered another new method of color grading the portraits and this is the eye white and as you can see the eyes are now popping and they are white enough and this is a global dodging and burn you can see the difference it has made so I'm running from Ronis Photography thank you for watching and if you have learned something from this video remember to subscribe hit the like button and when you subscribe don't forget to click on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on new videos every time we upload. Till next time.